from the Geek Sandbag here. I hope you guys are well. Bringing you another collection update video today. and I've got loads of great stuff to show you. It's amazing how much shopping you can get done if you've got a TARDIS and how easy it is to pay when you've got some psychic paper. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack on. So, Tong Baker at 80. And I pre-ordered this directly from Big Finish and all pre-orders came personally signed by Tom himself. So that's really nice. It's two hours in the company of Tom Baker and Nicholas Briggs and Tom talks about his life and his career up to now and the two of them clearly get on well together. It's a really fun, interesting listen. No one tells a yarn quite like Tom Baker, it's brilliant. The CD was 8 dollars it's a two CD set and the download is 6 dollars but if you order the CD directly from Big Finish you get the download for free and I really recommend it, it's a great release. So I picked up a couple of Torchwood figures in London and uh, they only had three in the shop, so I bought all three that they had. Uh, Captain Jack, well, he could look better, but you can see who it is. I still think he's pretty good. The Cyberwoman, I think, is pretty good in detail, and I'm pleased with that one. But by far my favourite is the Blowfish. I think he looks fantastic. Of course, I want to collect them all now, and looking at the other ones that are available, I think the Weevil one looks good, and I really want to get Captain John Hart, because he's my favourite. So, yes... I should be looking out for those. Now I haven't been a fan of the new 3.5 figures up to now but I am slowly coming around to liking them. Uh, I still prefer the 5.5 but so far these are the ones I've collected. Uh, I'm liking the Dalek figures especially the Asylum one there and I did buy a couple of the sets as well just to see what they're like. got the Hyde set and the Dalek patrol ship. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the blue and yellow packaging on these but for some reason, I do. The detailing on these figures isn't too bad, actually. I mean, it's never going to be as good as the larger scale figures. But there's a definite step up in quality and likeness on these Wave 3 figures. Oh, I think he's a friend of the Candyman's. So let's have a quick look at the Hyde set. Um, dear, how do I build this thing? So now that the set is actually up, uh, it does actually look pretty nice I think. Um, it did take a lot of putting together, I have to be honest, it's very fiddly. And because it's made of cardboard, um, it is easily damaged. Even putting it together I managed to damage some of the sort of folding corners. But yeah, I think the set actually looks pretty good when it's together. Uh, one nice bonus is you do get a proper figure of Hyde. I thought it was going to be a cardboard cutout for some reason, but you actually get a proper solid figure of the Hyder. And um, the detailing on it's not too bad. I mean, you don't really see much of this in the actual episode. So I think it's quite good. The only thing I would say is it's impossible to get him to stand up. Um, he just constantly falls over because he's just a bit of a sort of dead weight. Even on a flat surface, uh, he doesn't want to stand. But there we are. Yeah, it's pretty good, I think. Now this I do like the look of, this Dalek patrol ship. Uh, so I'm going to get out of the box and have a look at it. It comes with this exclusive Dalek pilot figure. So yeah, let's have a look. Yes, I am loving the look of this. This is really cool. If I'd have had these when I was growing up as a kid, I think this probably would have been one of my favourite ever toys. I think the design of it is really cool. Right, let's have a look. What have we got? This thing presumably fires off. Oh, gosh, I hope that didn't hit the cat. And we've got this exclusive figure inside, so let's have a look at him. So this is the exclusive figure you get in the set, and he's a Dalek pilot, apparently. Um, I'm loving the look of him. I love this mix of the black and gold and the stripes down there. So yeah, nice figure and a nice set. I know we haven't seen these in the actual series. We've seen things that are similar to them, uh, but I think they make for a really nice variant. So as well as the new figures, I also got a couple of second-hand figures as well. So I've got the creature from the Fires of Pompeii episode, and he looks really good. He was an exclusive apparently, so I'm pleased to have managed to pick him up. He's in very good condition. Uh, I've got the 10th Doctor Regeneration figure, which is one I've always wanted. He's not in such good condition, but he was only £2.50. He's got a bit of a battered face, I don't know if you can see on the nose there. And also he can hardly stand up, poor fellow. And I've also got the 10th Doctor from Waters of Mars figure, which is really cool. Uh, he again was £2.50, but he has lost his helmet. But yeah, overall, three very nice figures. I was really pleased to pick up the new 12th Doctor books. Uh, I love the style of these books. Um, I mean, they've been doing these ever since Christopher Eccleston 
uh, started as the Doctor. But I think the covers on these look great. I haven't had a chance to read them yet, um, but I'm really looking forward to, to seeing if they've captured the Twelfth Doctor's character. Um, I've got a bit of a backlog of books at the moment. Engines of War is there, and I still haven't got around to reading that. But yes, really, really nice. The Doctor Who sticker album, and do you know, I love things like this because I find them really addictive. Um, and this is the starter pack, so you get uh, one album with the 12th Doctor and Clara on the front there, and it also includes six packs of stickers. So let's take a look. Obviously, it's the same sort of blue and yellow design that we've seen on the new Wave 3 packaging, Doctor and Clara. On the back, there's uh, a chance to win a full size Dalek and a TARDIS display front and all you've got to do is send in your empty packets of these so yeah that's pretty good I might do that uh, looking inside the album itself well it's not just the series 8 that this covers it kind of has lots of different things from the series like the Master, the Zygons, the Ice Warriors and some nice pictures the stickers themselves well the quality on them to be honest isn't that great they're a little bit um, sort of faded but you know as a sticker album itself it's pretty nice so let's open a pack up and see what we've got. Hopefully not too many duplicates. And our tenant regenerating, that's a good one. James Bond. Oh, that's cool. Those eyebrows. Ooh. And oh, Sarah Jane, my favourite. So yeah, they are quite nice stickers. So I'm collecting the new micro figures. And these are the ones I've got so far. So we've got the 11th Doctor, 12th and the 11th outfit, the new 12th Doctor. Strax was a very badly painted tie. Those new Cybermen and the Lizard. And here's two new ones unopened. So let's open them in front of your very eyes. Looking at the poster, the ones I really want are either the War Doctor or the Zygon or Captain Jack. So let's see if we can find one of those. Okay, so here we go. They're not the easiest things to get into this. Oh, this one's keen. <gasps> Clara! Oh, that's okay, I haven't got Clara. That's really cool. I'm pleased with that one. Okay, so I'd like this one to be the War Doctor then, I think. And it is... Oh, it's a Dalek and a very strange colour one. So that, that could be a rare one, I think. Actually, it was Dalek Ironside, who's not that rare, but he's still pretty good. And the other one was, of course, Oswin, not Clara. I just didn't recognise her because she didn't have a souffle. But yes, two nice figures that I haven't got. And here they all are, incarcerated in their boxes. And as we're unbagging things, I've also got a couple more Simpsons ones. As you know, I really want Mr Burns, so come on. Let's see what we've got. First one is... No messing about. It is. Oh, I've already got him. Come on. Doesn't. No, it doesn't feel like Mr. Burns. Let's see. Who is it? At least be one I haven't got. Oh, it is. Oh my goodness. No way. It is. Yes, the Simpsons collection is coming on really nicely now. So take your rifle place, Mr. Burns. And what's this? The Lego Movie. I don't collect these. Yes, but it's a blind bag and I couldn't resist. So who have we got on here? Don't know any of these guys, but he looks cool. So let's hope it's him. Have a look. Try and drop all over the floor. And it is. Oh, there's some legs. There's a cat. This is very random. So who the hell is it? Someone with a cat. Ooh, no face person. Okay, so I've got absolutely no idea who that is. I'm sure someone out there can tell me. But she looks like a very scary cat lady and I may have to call the RSPCA. Some of these other guys look very good. Um, I might have to watch the movie now. And finally, no collection video from me would be complete without a Doctor Who mug. And this week, I've got the 7th Doctor mug. And here he is in all his ceramic glory. And you know what? I love this mug. I think it does look a little bit like Sylvester. And I love his big ceramic hat. Leave the girl. It's the mug I want. Splendid chaps. All of them. Mm. 
winter's coming just trying to decide which scarf to wear anyway i hope you enjoyed this collection update video check out thegeekshandbag.com for more videos and news subscribe to the youtube channel like the facebook page and do say hello on twitter until the next time guys take care bye bye I actually just watched the Lego movie. It's actually pretty awesome. Everything is awesome. Why am I singing that? I don't know. Anyway, bye-bye.